Next movie? Yeah. That was a good explanation. Or was it? Was I don't it? Know. Who knows? <laughs> but it was funny. <laughs> we'll find out after this. Okay. Two. Yeah. I know you've seen this movie. Uh oh. So the notebook. you have to get it right. <laughs> <laughs> and I kept telling you the story over and over again. <laughs> no, no, no. This this is the, the, probably the best movie on the list, too. Uh oh. All right. There's this guy. He's kind of a loser. Uh, can't Can't find a girlfriend. Can't be in a relationship. He's going to work one day and he's just like, Fuck it, I'm going to ditch work and I'm going to go to the beach. So he goes to the beach and there's this girl on the beach. She's kind of quirky, kind of weird. Strike up a conversation on the train back into town. And they're both like super weird in different ways, but very like complimentary, almost like they're meant to be together. Mm-hmm. So they start dating. This is so many movies, Ben. How will I guess? <laughs> so, so they're dating and everything's amazing and it's fantastic. But over time... The relationship starts changing the way a lot of relationships do. They start focusing less on the things they love about each other and more on the things that bother them about each other. He's too needy. She's kind of aloof and getting bored with him and how needy he is. And he's getting frustrated with how sort of unpredictable she is. So they get in a big fight at some point. And uh, the next day he goes to talk to her and apologize or something. And he shows up and he's talking to her and she has no idea who she, he is. She's like, it's as if they never met and he's all confused. So he goes home. He's like, I don't understand what's going on here. She's acting like we don't, we've been dating. She's acting like we don't know each other. So he doesn't know her? She doesn't, she doesn't remember him him at all. Okay. So, uh, he goes home. He's talking to his friends. He doesn't know what to do. One of his friends says like, you know, I'm not supposed to tell you this, but she got this experimental medical procedure done to erase all her memories of you. Okay. We did watch this, but I can't remember. <laughs> I'm trying to remember. Okay, keep going. It's a pretty unique concept, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So he goes into this doctor like, what the hell did you do to her? And he's like, can't really tell you what's going on. You shouldn't have found out about this. But we're at, at our office, what we do is we help people forget whatever they want to forget. So he's super upset about this, that she would choose to do this. But he decides like, I, I need to get over this relationship too. So he's like, I want to undergo this procedure too. So he uh, gets hooked up to their machines. They do it at home. He had to sort of tell them and describe all these memories of her and their relationship so that the technician can come in, go into his memory and delete all these memories of her. So he'll wake up and have no, no remembrance of her and the relationship. Mm -hmm. So as they're doing this, you see it from the perspective of inside his mind as he's reliving these memories with her as they're sort of disappearing. Mm -hmm. Very artsy, beautiful. And he realizes as this is happening that he doesn't want to lose these memories. So he starts trying to run away from this process happening in his mind by hiding deeper into his subconscious and trying to hide her in the corners of his mind and memories that he didn't describe to the technician. So he goes to his childhood and different feelings, not of love and relationships, but he's trying to find other feelings and emotions in his head where he can hide her away but ultimately it's not working and as he's sort of sharing his last memory of her where they first met he uh he tells her they promise each other that they'll find each other at the beach so he wakes up and we're back at the beginning he's going to work lonely loser guy going to work one day and he just decides i'm not going to go to work today i'm going to go to the beach And he sees this girl on the beach and she's weird and they strike up a conversation. We're back at the beginning here, right? So they start dating. But somehow, it's too confusing to explain why, they find out that they underwent this procedure, each of them. So they find these tapes of them explaining to the doctor why they decided they wanted to forget each other. So they're listening to this tape and it's him saying, she was too unpredictable and not considerate of my feelings and she would just disappear and not come home and she's going, oh, he's boring. I'm kind of getting sick of how needy he is. It's just not working out. And they they feel like they've just met again. They don't have any memory of this and they're just like in the infatuation of just starting a relationship again. But they're hearing this tape of them describing why their relationship didn't work out. Why are they watching this tape? So they're hearing this tape because one of a woman who worked in the office that helped people get this procedure decided it wasn't ethical to do. So she sent the tapes out to all the patients mm. who had undergone the procedure. 
So they listen to this tape and she goes, oh, okay, like this isn't going to work out. This is too weird. And she leaves and he chases her down thinking like, you know, I don't feel any of these ways now. Like I hear what we're saying, but like we haven't really experienced that yet. We don't remember any of that. And like, clearly we underwent that procedure. We must have really, there must have really been something here for us to even want to go through that, right? And she's doubtful and she's just not sure if you're worth it. And she's like, it's probably going to end in heartbreak. And he goes, that's okay. And the movie kind of ends with this implication that they're going to try again. Even though it might Even though it probably weren't out because it's better to experience love and lose it than to never feel anything at all. This was such a better description than the wonder woman <laughs> you could tell i liked this movie a lot more than wonder i woman. guess this was one of those movies where i wasn't really watching it i feel bad now because i wasn't it's, watching it because it sounds really it's good, a really good movie it. and you know what i had to i watched it a second time recently i saw it years ago i think with you and maybe we were kind of on our phones and not paying attention and maybe it just it seemed got kind deleted of weird. from my memory. Maybe. Because I don't remember it. And what you just described sounds like an amazing movie to me. It is. But I don't movie. I can't even like picture Nothing? which actors. No. Okay. May, like, I <laughs> can give you some hints. <laughs> How long ago did you do you think I watched this? It came out in two thousand four. But I think we saw it when we were, I think we watched it when we were first dating. Okay, that was like eight years ago. It was a long time. <laughs> like, okay, I, I don't remember then. Do your memory okay, can't I'm hold not that so, much? I thought it was something we like watched in the last two years. No, 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 okay. definitely not. I was like, how do I not okay, remember Okay, some this? hints. Who's in it? The guy is Jim Carrey. <gasps> um, the Eternal Sunshine Sunshine of the one. Spotless yeah, Mind. Yeah, okay. Now okay. I, yes, now I understand. Do you remember the movie very um, well? I I do, but I didn't remember the entire plot as you just put it. Mm -hmm. But I remember that movie at the time being a really well received one in general mm -hmm. by like critics and media. And I remember also liking it. And it was about her being like quirky and weird and mm -hmm. like she had different color hair all the time. Yeah, and that was Kate, kind of her thing. Kate Winslet, Kate Winslet hair lays was really good interest. in it. Yeah. yeah. No, I remember that now. And she's actually I, like a real person in it. She's not just like the woman for him to you know what I mean? She's like a real character in the movie too. Yeah, yeah, that was a good movie. And you watched it again recently? So I saw it on the plane, on my 15-hour plane ride. I'm browsing through their catalog, so I watched that again. It was really good. I'm getting a little emotional on the that plane. It's probably the altitude, you know? That it's is a, a good story. It's a really good movie. And just the way it's made, to, their, their depiction of uh, his subconscious or him, like, his the memories disappearing is just incredibly creative yeah. and well done. I hope, like... Whoever heard that description, it's it takes something away knowing the entire story, I right, think, not, unlike Christine. But yeah, but I think it's still an interesting watch. For sure. Like but you could still watch of it. Any of the movies I'm describing today, this is the one really worth watching. Okay. I think All it's the, other the best ones are movie. Stupid. This no, one is no, good. there's a couple well, there's one okay, other okay. good movie here. Okay, okay. <laughs> What do you think of that technology if it were to exist? The ability to selectively erase memories. I, I think the point of the movie is it's I think in a nutshell, it is that idea that you would rather love and even if it means experiencing loss and heartbreak than to just erase that from your life because it just kind of erases the meaning of mm. having those good things, right? Yeah, this is a much broader philosophical existential question. But like, sure. I people feel, would use it if that technology existed. Though. I feel like you would use it, but I wonder if there's just some innate human craving and desire to explore things and you're always going to want to figure out what you're missing or what could be because that's just part of our humanity and our drive so even if you did opt to erase things you're just going to kind of reboot back to the start and then you're going to like explore more things and uncover more things that you feel are traumatic or ruining you and tr opt to have those erased and it's just this endless cycle of trying to erase things to try and reset when ultimately we are built to have a number of experiences that shape us yeah, yeah, no, I think that's exactly the point. And it kind of pulls on that theme of like etern eternal recurrence. It's like that sort of Nietzschean idea of, you know, this idea of if you could live your life over and over again, would you do that? Or would that just be like the ultimate sort of torture? And are we just sort of destined to repeat the exact same? If you believe in like the concept of infinity, like are, are you technically destined to repeat your current existence, but every other iteration of your existence an infinite number of times too? And is that like a terrifying thing or is that like a liberating thing? 
I don't know. I have not repeated that I'm aware of. (laughs) Yeah, that's right. You have to live your life as if this is the life you have, right? (laughs) You got to have some fun before you die. That's all I know. (laughs) All right. So do you want to watch watch this movie? Have watched, but would watch again. Would watch again. again. But except on popular opinion, I'm the kind of person who doesn't watch the same movie twice because once I watch the first five minutes and I, I'm cued into the visual effects and whatever, then I will remember. I'll be like, I remember how this unfolds. I remember the visual presentation of it all. I don't need it again. But knowing the whole story doesn't take away from your exp- no. enjoyment of if a movie. If I had never seen this movie and you yeah. told me this story, I would absolutely watch it. But I would watch it one time so I could capture that visual experience and connect it to the story, and then I wouldn't need to watch it again. So do you want to see it? <laughs> well, I don't need to see it again because I have seen it. And if I watch the first five minutes, my brain would remember the visual unfolding of the hour need, long. You just need a hard reset, a reboot. <laughs> <laughs> Control, but like, delete. It's like sometimes your computer can't find something, you know, so you have to go to the, the search bar. And when you search for the keyword, then you know where it is. That's how my brain works. <laughs> <laughs> yes, dear. <laughs> what? Okay. Okay.